and welcome to Homeschool Quick Tips. I'm Dr. Georgia Purdom. This is Dr. Jennifer Rivera. And we are two homeschool moms with a lot of experience. And we're also part of the team here at Answers in Genesis that helps develop the programs and resources for the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter. And so the purpose of this program is to help you know how to use those programs and resources and so much more that Answers in Genesis has to offer um, for your homeschooling needs. And so today we are in the Johnson Observatory. And we have with us Dr. Danny Faulkner, who is our astronomer here at Answers in Genesis. So here at Answers in Genesis, we have a lot of you know, astronomy-based programs uh, that homeschoolers can take a part of. And one of those that we have is something called our Stargazers Night, right? And we get lots of requests for this. Uh, it's very popular. Uh, and actually, most of it takes place here in our observatory. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that, Dr. Faulkner? Okay, the Stargazers, so hopefully, will take place out here. <laughs> We, uh, we have a fine collection of telescopes. This is my favorite one right here. I hope the other telescopes aren't listening. We have, um, generally on a stargazer night, we will bring uh, four telescopes out. We'll use this big one right here for deep sky objects, this one for planets, and a couple of more, for the, one for the moon, and one for other what we call deep sky objects. Mm -hmm. These are collecting a lot of light. It's a lot of fun when we do this. The, um, the one problem we have is sometimes the weather doesn't, doesn't cooperate. We <laughs> always start in the planetarium we have here. Uh, we have a brief devotional, brief planetarium show. That gives us some time to greet people and then get out here to start setting up the telescopes. If it's cloudy, <laughs> we go ahead and do an extended indoor program, things we never get to do in the daytime. So people will come away thinking, mm -hmm. wow, that was wonderful. I want to come back on a clear night. Right. So even if it's cloudy, mm -hmm. we can still have a good time. It's best outdoors. Though. Right. All right, another program that we offer here, and you touched on that just a little bit, is our Indoor Astronomy Live program. So you want to tell us just a little bit about what's covered in there? Mm -hmm. uh, and we also have some recent planetarium upgrades. Right, yeah. So you can tell us a little bit about that as well. Okay, well, we have a these couple of pre-recorded shows. Uh, very good sound effects, very good mm -hmm. music. Everything's really perfect. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we haven't always done planetarium shows that way. Many years ago, too long ago that I want to tell you, <laughs> I used to do live shows when I was in graduate school. And people come in, you point out the stars to them, what the sky is doing tonight. That is real hard to do with a, with a pre-recorded show. So we, uh, we like to do these live shows where people come in, we show them the stars tonight. It's a bit long, about twice as long as mm -hmm. the pre-recorded mm -hmm. shows. And it's got a lot of spontaneity. It's got a lot of uh, uh, audience interaction. I really, I really enjoy giving those shows. And so I really enjoy those a lot. Now, you mentioned the planetarium upgrade. Last year, late uh, up in autumn, we shut the planetarium down and we completely gutted it. They redid the room, mm -hmm. expanded it a bit. We got new projectors, new computers, new software, a new dome, new chairs, <laughs> new car. Nothing is the same. Just <laughs> yep. The physical room is, but it's going to be completely redone, too. And uh, it's, instead of having a conventional video projectors to project the stars in the sky, it has a laser light projector. And that laser light is supposed to be 10 times brighter than what we had before. And I'm inclined oh, to wow. believe I've been in there. Mm -hmm. And I looked at the star fields, and most people are fooled by the planetarium sky. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But the problem is, is generally the brightest objects, the stars and bright stars and planets, are, are t not quite bright enough compared to the faintest ones. But with this new, brighter uh, projector we have, mm -hmm. it can do that. It expands out the brightness a lot more. And I'm, I think it's a much more realistic sky. And I'm looking forward. We haven't done any yet, but right. we're going to do some of these real soon. And I'm... Um, I'm looking forward to do the live shows in there. It's also got a slightly tilted dome to mm -hmm. make, uh, make, make the viewing a little more comfortable. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Faulkner, you have written quite a few books and resources also that parents might be able to use in their homeschool. Yeah, one book in particular stands out. It's uh, called uh, The New Astronomy Book. Mm -hmm. And I intended to write it for young people, uh, mid-grade school, mm -hmm. up to middle school, maybe even a little bit of high school. It's uh, color-coded at three levels, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool because you can actually, uh, with a homeschool unit, you can go through it three different years right. doing each yeah. one of the levels if you want to. And it's not just a kid's book. I've had many adult friends of mine who read the book and uh, were, you know, really liked it, and so they learned a lot from it. So it's great to use with your kids. I have a couple other books, such as uh, my uh, duo set, the, right. the pair, the, uh, mm -hmm. the Creative Cosmos, which is about biblical astronomy, and then the... Uh, uh, Expansive Heaven, that's a companion book to it. It's about the creation science of astronomy. You could use that more for maybe upper high school yeah, for doing, sure. doing yeah, this definitely. sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And I also soon have a um, high school 
astronomy textbook coming out. Yes, as that's well. what I was. I was trying to remember <laughs> all the things that you've written, and yeah. so that'll be a really good tool because a lot of homeschoolers are very interested in astronomy, but there just isn't a lot out there. That's right. And this uh, textbook will be uh, for a two-semester, whole-year high school right. course. I mean it to be uh, like a third science. You, you often do, at times right. we'll do physical science and biology for high school. This mm -hmm. gives you a third science mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. without going into the uh, mathematical rigor that chemistry and physics would require. Right. So it's, it's great for people who want to get that third science, particularly for uh, college admission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we also have um, Explore Astronomy, yes. correct? Mm -hmm. So Dr. Faulkner is our lead teacher on our Explore Astronomy program, and he helps us develop all the workshops that we offer as well. Uh, so if you're interested in getting firsthand expert instruction in astronomy, make sure you check our website for our Explore Astronomy program. And we also have two planetarium shows that we do offer here at the museum. So if you're here just visiting the Creation Museum, uh, we do have two shows that they can uh, participate in as well. In addition to the live shows. Yes, in addition to the live shows, absolutely. All right, well, we hope that you will take advantage of so many of these astronomy resources that we have to offer, and so just visit the Answers in Genesis website for more information.